Hey, what's up guys, I'm KBHD here, and to wrap up probably my last video for 2012, I wanna talk about Google Now. Google Now is one of the finest and best and most revolutionary technologies to be announced and released in 2012. It's available on every device running Android 4.1, Jelly Bean, or later. And fun fact, when it was being written, its code name and during development was Majel after Majel Barrett, who was the voice of the computer from Star Trek. So it's pretty badass. Lieutenant Commander Data, now located in holodeck area 4J. Anyway, Google now is a step beyond Siri, which is iOS's personal assistant, because not only does it have superior voice recognition, but it's also a whole system behind it. There's a whole process and the whole cards UI and everything about Google now behind the scenes that gives you search results before you even search for them is amazing. So first of all, you can get to Google now several different ways on your device. You can just open it with the Google app so you can tap the Google app icon, or you can swipe up on your lock screen, or if you're on a Nexus device, you can swipe up from your home screen to open Google Now, or if you're not running a Nexus device, you can assign a swipe action in your launcher. So it really separates Google Now from the competitors like Siri, or even S Voice for that matter, is the pre-search. It's what shows up in the cards UI before you even search for anything. It presents information that's relevant to you based on information that it knows about you. Google takes information from your Gmail account, from your Google searches, from your Google calendar, all of your Google account stuff, and uses that information to prevent information that's relevant to you. And a lot of people might think that that's a little weird that you know Google knows all this about you, but you're being tracked by a bunch of different companies anyway that you might not even know about. So it's nice that at least Google gives you something back for it and it's free. So here are all the cards that you could possibly get with all the information Google knows about you from Google Now. The birthday card for when it knows it's your birthday, the movie theater cards for when you're near a movie theater, the photo spot card for when you're near a spot that people like to take pictures at, the public transit card for when you're near a train or bus station, the places cards for when you're near someplace interesting, the translate and currency cards for when you leave the country, the flight cards for when your flight is arriving soon, the event cards for when stuff is happening nearby, the sports cards for basketball, baseball, or football teams that you've Googled, the stock card if there's a big change in your portfolio, the research card, which will help you find more information about something you've recently Googled, the Gmail cards, which will allow you to show your boarding pass, shipping info, or hotel or restaurant reservations for any restaurant you've gotten an email for, the activity summary card for those who walk or bike a lot, and the infamous weather card for whatever city you happen to be located in, and much, 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 much more. There's a full list in the description below. My personal favorite one is if your device picks up that you commute to a place frequently based on the GPS location, it'll show a card in the morning with how long it takes for you to get to that place and a notification about 10 minutes or so before you need to leave to get there on time based on the traffic in Google Maps and provides a one-touch Google Maps navigation button to be on your way. It's just genius. So aside from all these cards that will show up based on all the things it knows about you, there's also voice search. And voice search from Google's voice recognition is really good, really fast, and very useful. I've done a video about this comparing it to S Voice, comparing it to Siri. A lot of people are pretty aware by now that it is really good and really fast. And it knows a lot of information because Google's database of information is so huge that it's able to get a result back to you very quickly. Even if you're not going to Google's database, you can still open apps on your phone and text people and dial numbers from the Google Voice Search app. What's coming up soon is the ability to use OS functions. So I asked it to turn off Wi-Fi and it gave me a message saying that the system functions are coming but are not yet implemented. Keyword, yet. Also, what's neat is you don't have to use your voice to get a card with the answer from Google. So if you're in a quiet area and you don't want to talk and look crazy talking to your phone, you can actually type in your question. And if it's in Google's database, it'll go ahead and give you a card with the same answer as if you had used a voice search. So this is what my Google Now looks like right now. I don't have a lot of cards, but I do use it all the time, almost, well, pretty much every day. My question to you is how often do you use Google now? I know a lot of people I asked on Twitter at MKBHD said they actually use it a lot more now that it's becoming more worldwide available and uh, has more functions added to it. My favorite feature of it, by the way, is the package tracker. Very useful. Every time I get an Amazon email, it just shows up in Google now. It's very convenient. So there you go. That's my number one favorite thing that was released in 2012. It's It's got a long way to go, no doubt. And it's, it's exciting to see where the future of Google now will go. Either way, thanks for watching this video. Feel free to plus one or to give a thumbs up below. That really does help out. And if you want to share this video with, you know, new people who got Android devices for the holiday season, that's probably going to help too. So either way, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.